how does datification alter our social world? Datification is uh, the ability of translating into quantifiable and monetizable data of a number of aspects of our social life that have never been quantified before. For example, emotions, friendships, various types of exchange uh, between people. Now, datification then alters our social world because it does add monetary value to a number of things that we have always been doing, like hanging out with other friends, that all of a sudden become of interest to a number of corporations. Not just corporations who are monetizing these exchanges, but also um, it, they are of interest to uh, governments because all of a sudden we are much more tracked than before. When we move around, we leave a number of digital traces, like little invisible footprints that uh, tell other people what we're doing, what we've been going uh, about, who we hang out with, and stuff like that. So datification changes, changes our social world in that it changes the terms and conditions, if you want, of our being human beings, of our being citizens. All of a sudden, we are much more monitored and much more observed, for the better and for the worse. What is data activism? Data activism is, if you want, a response to datification. What do I mean? As citizens, we have always been engaging with our surroundings. If our surroundings change, well, we also change our relation. Uh, to set uh, surroundings. So data activism are a number of social technical practices and by social technical I mean something that has a social aspect which is often collective but also technical so we need software, platforms, apps, phones uh, to engage with it that take a critical approach to datification and by a critical I simply mean well it raises interesting questions about what is happening tries to interrogate this change, tries to leverage it for, for example, social change. So we have instances of using data for social change, for advocacy, for example, for creating a campaign with better information. But on the other hand, you also have instances in which people simply are so critical that they get scared and they try to defend, for example, their privacy. How does data activism redefine citizenship? Well, in a way, I probably already partially answered this question, but it redefines citizenship in a number of ways. Let, let's look at the optimistic story, so at the possibilities that data activism opens uh, for us. So, datification produces data. There's many, many more data available as compared to 10 years ago, five years ago, yesterday, in the sense that Technological innovation is so rapid that um, corporation states, but also individual citizens, can make sense and collect ever larger quantities of data in a way that you know increases literally as we speak. And um, in a way, this data can be used by us in a variety of ways. I'll give you an example. There is a platform called Open Spending that allows anyone with no prior knowledge about public spending, state uh, accounting, or data to look and investigate in a very anecdotal manner as well, public spending patterns in your home country. And then you can see, for example, in a very, as I said, intuitive manner as well, uh, you can see, for example, how things can be done better. So then I can, as a private citizen, go with this evidence to my local representative and say, hey, for example, we want more bike lanes. Look at how they are doing it elsewhere. Or maybe, you know, you can take some money around this budget and put it on bike lanes. You know why the availability of data allows us citizens to talk to the state or to interface with the state, to relate to the state, to our local representative using uh, data. We can generate even our own data through apps uh, that are usually developed by citizens themselves and, for example, allows us to track down the state of public streets, of public illumination in schools, and then go back and try to uh, get those problems solved, for example, if there are uh, problems. So we can uh, activate our citizenship in, in a manner which is almost daily practice, beyond the sort of intermittent practice of voting, which happens every now and then only.